We are days away from the 20th anniversary of 9-11. Journalist Carol Marine was in New York City working for 60 minutes when the jets hit the Twin Towers. Her instincts told her to go there. So she jumped in a cab and headed to Lower Manhattan. CBS 2's Jim Williams talked to Carol Marine today. Jim, she has mixed feelings about sharing her experiences from that day. Erica and Brad, Carol Marine is not comfortable calling attention to herself, but in telling the story of that day, she praises heroic firefighters and police officers and says it's important for young people to know what happened on September 11th. Over these past two decades. When the second tower was struck, I headed down to West Street. After many times describing that terrible day. We could see coming at us a ball of flame stories high. Carol Marine wonders, has she talked too much about 9-11? You know, you go through phases where all you do is talk about it, and then there comes a point where you think, you know, it's time to stop. But one of Chicago's most celebrated reporters, now teaching journalism at DePaul University, sees the value in sharing history one generation to another. I've reconciled it this way. Right now, one of the things I worry about is that we will forget 9-11. My students, some of them weren't born when it happened or were one or two or three years old. It's chaos. On the morning of September 11th, Marina corresponded for 60 minutes Watching the newsroom monitor in New York saw the planes hit the Twin Towers. She dropped everything and rushed to Ground Zero to cover it. Jim, you know and I know, when something happens, you've got to get to the place where it's happening before police lines yeah. close it off from reporters. There, as the second tower collapsed, a firefighter rushed to her aid. I fell. He slammed me back up on my feet, told me to take off my shoes, and we ran under the overhang of a granite building down the way, and he, and he covered me, he shielded me with his body. It was only after that I thought what was coming down were parts of desks and sinks and people, and people. A police officer led her to daylight for days. Carol Marine covered the 9-11 attacks for a national audience. A rain of cinders so thick that you couldn't see this far in front of you and you couldn't breathe. The top floors collapsed down. Carol Marine says some things remain the same over these two decades. She's grateful to the firefighters and police officers who protected her. And a reporter's job is to tell stories despite the danger. It's why I teach journalism now because Generations need to be taught how to do it. If it happened right now, we'd both go do it again. Right. Right? That's right. Because that's what we do. I was on the 81st floor. Many people at Ground Zero have suffered serious health problems after breathing in all that toxic debris. Carol says she's had her lungs checked and she's in good health. Erica and Brad, she ran a marathon after 9-11. Mm. All right, Jim, thank you.